हेलो फ्रेंड्स यील्ड टू मेच्योरिटी और वाई टी एम सो दिस कंसेप्ट इज यूज वेन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर मेड इन बॉन्ड्स सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यील्ड टू मेच्योरिटी वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन बॉन्ड्स so whenever investment is made in a bond the investor gets two things one regular income on yearly basis which is called coupon amount so this coupon amount is calculated at the given coupon interest in addition the investor also receives face value of the bond on maturity then the present value of these cash flows can be calculated at a given rate of discount so i'm repeating when investment is made in a bond the investor gets regular income on yearly basis which is called coupon amount in addition he also receives the face value of the bond on maturity and we can calculate the present value of these cash flows at a given rate of discount then what is ytm so ytm is that discount rate which makes the present value of the above type of future cash flows equal to its purchase price so we pay some price when we purchase a bond and cash flows are to happen in future so a discount rate which makes these two things equal so this purchase price when it becomes equal to present value of those cash flows at a particular discount rate so that particular discount rate is called yield to maturity ytm now how to calculate ytm so ytm can be calculated manually when we calculate it manually it is through trial and error effort so this method is used by assuming two different discount rates so in this method we assume two different discount rates on the basis of which the present value is calculated and then ytm is calculated so at two different discount rates first we shall calculate present value and then on the basis of that we shall be able to calculate ytm but when we make use of scientific calculator or a computer the ytm can be very easily calculated by using ms excel function so while the manual calculation takes lot of time the calculation by using ms excel it is very quick very fast now let us calculate ytm so here we have the problem corporate bank purchased 8% Nine year bonds with face value of rupees one hundred for rupees eighty five each. Calculate the YTM assuming that the bonds are held till maturity. So here the bank is purchasing a bond which is having face value of rupees one hundred. But for this value, for this face value, the bank gives only eighty five rupees. So the coupon rate is eight percent, and the maturity period is 9 years now who we shall calculate the ytm so let us understand one important thing this bond has been purchased at a discount a 100 rupee bond is purchased for 85 rupees that mean it is purchased at a discount here ytm must be more than coupon rate of 8% so whenever a bond is purchased at a discount the ytm will always be more than the coupon rate and when a bond is purchased at a premium the ytm must be less than coupon rate now here the purchase price is 85 so this purchase price 85 is equal to what so it is equal to the present value of the coupons plus present value of face value of the bond to be received at the end of 9th year so this is the coupon amount to be received in 9 years 
this is face value of the bond to be received after 9 years so we shall calculate present value of these two to calculate present value of these two so we shall make use of NOT formula here so this is NOT formula and to calculate this we shall make use of the discounting formula so for this purpose we will be requiring the discounted value tables and NOT tables and as I said earlier to calculate YTM we shall assume two different discount rates so let us assume 12% and 10% as the discount rates and based on these two discount rates now we shall start calculating the present value and after calculation of present value at these two rates we shall be able to calculate YTM now first we shall calculate the present value at 12% discount rate so this is the formula so this is replacement so KD percent here means YTM so YTM we are assuming 12% so rupees 8 its present value by using NOT method at 12% discount rate for 9 years gives us a factor value similarly for this 100 rupees to be received at the end of 9th year so this value will be discounted so from discounting value tables for 12% YTM for 9 years we shall again draw a factor so these are those values which we have taken from the table so for this portion the factor is 5.328 for this portion the factor is 0 0.361 so these values are taken from the tables so this value has been table from the NOT tables this value has been table from present value table now we shall calculate the value so 8 into 5.328 it gives us 42.62 and 100 multiplied by 0 0.361 gives us 36.10 so this gives us the value of the bond the present value of these cash flows but the present value of these cash flows is less than the purchase price so whenever this present value is equal to this purchase price only that discount rate is YTM so 12% cannot be YTM because here the present value is less than the purchase price so it should be something less than 12 percent now let us try the 10 percent discount rate so similar calculations are required for 10 percent discount rate so when we use 10 percent discount rate instead of 12 percent discount rate so we get these factor values from the value tables and now let us make the calculation so first part that is present value of coupons is 4637 and second part present value of the maturity value of the bond to be received at the end of ninth year is 42 rupees 10 paisa so it gives us value 88 rupees 47 paisa <coughs> but this value is greater than 85 so this also is not YTM so 12% is not YTM 10% is not YTM because YTM is that rate of discount at which this price becomes equal to this present value but then based on this information we can calculate YTM with the help of this formula so here YTM will be equal to lower discount rate plus difference between two discount rates into present value at lower discount rate minus its purchase price divided by absolute difference in the present values now 
we shall calculate so we will observe that the purchase price of rupees 85 falls within these two values 78 rupees 72 paisa at 12 percent discount and 88 rupees 88 47 paisa at 10 percent discount rate so this means the YTM must be between these two so as I said to calculate YTM we are going to make use of this formula now let us insert the values so lower discount rate is 10 percent difference between two discount rate is 12 minus 10 percent then this part so present value at lower discount rate is 8847 minus purchase price is 85 divided by absolute difference between the present value so present value at 10 percent is 88 present value at 12 percent is 7872 so we will calculate this so 10 plus 2 so this gives us 3.7 and this gives us 9.75 now we can make the calculation so 10 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.356 so it gives us 10 plus 0 0.712 in other words 10.71 or we can say 10.71 percent so this is YTM so as I said calculation of YTM manually is a long term process in our another video we have given you calculation by using MS Excel function which is very quick in any case thank you friends for watching this video